Hey guys, Reef Noob here, and today I want to go over with you guys what I did to my system. I added a refugium, and how I did that, guys, was I removed, um, as you know, with this water box sump system, it's a four chamber system. I had an RODI system in the back, I had a return pump system, uh, it's meant for a return pump up here, and protein skimmer, and the back chamber was for the intake pump um, and overflow, and also for the return. Um, filter socks. So what I did was, busting my mind, got some recommendations online, I uh, really didn't talk to Waterbox about this because I'm pretty sure they told, would tell me, no, don't, don't do it. Um, but anyways, I did it because um, it's something I really wanted and I need some help. Now because I'm having a problem right now with my uh, Chato that I have, I got from Algae Barm, I also got some couple pods. Uh, some tiger pods is what I got uh, from them, and those are thriving because I'm now getting an outbreak of the uh, of copepods now in my tank, which is good. I'm also feeding them with the phytoplankton um, from algae barm too. And <clears throat> excuse me, but the problem is I'm having a problem is with my chato. Now I don't know if you guys can look at my uh, here. I have a, a Kesso H80. Now I don't know if it's um, the distance between here and the Chato, as you see here, I'm gonna zoom out back here, guys. It's about a good distance. I actually measured it from here going down to here. It's actually 12 inches, and then you have the depth of the water. So I don't know if this here, uh, having the light system, is too high, and maybe I need to get rid of the gooseneck and then bring it down to either the glass or maybe remove. Let's see, see here, guys. The um, maybe this is reflecting a lot of the light too of the system. So I don't know, um, need some help with this. See if you guys can make, make uh, give me some recommendations in the comments below. Uh, that would really help me out. Um, like again, I've actually, what happened was I took a, a that size ball of Chato, when I got it, I actually put it into a little nano tank that I have going. And I have an, uh, a Kessel H80 there on that one too, but it's not a flora one, it's the uh, it's just the regular blue, um, the Kessel blue one. And I, you know, I just put kind of, uh, the, the tank itself is done, you know, cycling itself through. Uh, and I have a couple of pods actually growing in there and I've been feeding them too with phytoplankton. And I threw a little, you know, a little bit of the, uh, the Chato in there. It's been actually doing good in there, uh, in its own little system by itself. And, you know, I don't know, it's, it's kind of strange, but, uh, it's just in here, it's, it's just dying and it's making, um, most people have said that you're maybe took, taking too much nutrients to actually remove my GFO reactor off in the system. I've been kind of cycling on and off my protein skimmer, which I'm having a little issue with, which I'm going to do another video on, which I'm not really happy about. I have to probably reach out to, um, Coral Life, um, uh, about that, <clears throat> not Coral Life, um, who are the makers of the Octo system? going for the warranty maintenance because I might need another um, uh, dial-in uh, chamber because something's not going right with it right now. But I can do another video on that, um, kind of how it's going. Basically, it's like a total review. Uh, so anyways, back to my refugium. So once I got the glass plates out of the refugium, which wasn't that hard, um, it actually increased my total water volume, probably about total another 20 gallons. Uh, not another 20 gallons, but total 10, 20 gallons. Uh, so now I have a 50 gallon display and a 20 gallon sump, which is pretty good. Um, or at 20 plus. I mean, uh, water box says it's, it's uh, this total chamber is supposed to be 25 gallons, but it I would assume it depends on the water level. So I've, I did increase the water level up a little bit from, it was actually down here, uh, previously below. Um, so I actually just dumped in some more water in, in the system, just on the sump system itself. It didn't do anything different. And also when I turn off my return pump, it just brings the water level to about right here. Um, so that's the one thing you always want to test guys is basically when you're adding more fluid into your sump, um, it's the flow of the water is still going to be the same, uh, overall within your display. It's not going to increase the water volume of your display at all because you're just increasing the volume of water in here. But you want to make sure that when you return, when your return pump turns off, you don't overflow this. So that's one thing I tested. I actually, you know, tested several times. You also got to give it a couple minutes before the system can fully find its water level. Once you turn on and off the return pump, you can't just go, oh, I turned my return pump off. Oh, and there it is. No, the system needs to kind of uh, get its perfect cycle through, which takes about a good five minutes, uh, uh, probably even longer than that, uh, before you know 100%. So anyways, uh, but... Again, I'm having a problem with uh, the Chato not really living. 
So what I did was I removed this, uh, the chato that was in here, put it into the nano tank, and took the nano chato and put it in here since it was thriving. Uh, so hopefully this one will do good too on its own, but uh, we'll see what happens. Um, but uh, so if you guys can help me out with that, maybe I need to remove the acrylic uh, panel here. Um, we'll see what how that go. Uh, if you guys think that would make some of the light, or just get rid of the gooseneck and bring the lighting down. Uh, so maybe like hang it or, or right here where my hand is to basically give it that total, you know, remove probably a good uh, eight inches uh, from the light level, which I can easily do. So uh, what do you guys think? Uh, let me know down below. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you'd like to know what's going on with my system. I did do a uh, display update, so I'm going to post that too momentarily. And I have a couple more other videos, reviews that I am posting very soon. Uh, so keep out for those guys. Don't forget to... Subscribe and if you want to keep updates when I actually post a video, don't forget to hit that bell for the uh, alerts to actually a uh, video does post. So I will talk to you guys later.